Guys, we're back with how to introduce the e-call, and I do have Greg's collar on. This is the Easy Educator. So this has got a little bit more overt pager, and then I had the IQ on the dog the other day. That's where we started the dog. And this one has a more overt pager, and usually I don't want the more overt pager. But I'm going to tell you why I want it with this dog, because we do need to heighten the reality with puppies, and this dog is so even keel that in order to do, I would I would prefer, it, a, a stronger pager is not going to bother this dog. So what I'm looking to do, Jill, and for everybody at home, Jill's one of my clients, I'm going to get those videos uploaded. She had another Elliot, and I'm not even sure that was the first Elliot. I think there was an Elliot before hers. Maybe two. Anyway, he looked actually a lot like this one. I'm going to upload those videos. Uh, and she did competitive obedience with him. So that's what we're doing with this one. So what I'm saying to myself, girl, right now is I'm not going to practice that exercise of making the dog sit. What I say is I'm going to practice the exercise of the dog running at me very, very quickly. And, and what I'm going to do different than what we normally do... Oh, you got to be careful doing that because it is moving the camera around, too. There's nothing like that. like my blood. Oh, um, <laughs> we need to get that uh, fogger thing. Uh, but what I want, the, the thing that I'm going to do different is I am going to reward the dog right here, but you better be ready to prepare yourself. I'm not sure we shouldn't have a flyby, but what I want to do is wait until we've got this kind of momentum going. I'm not going to try to do it from the steps because Kelly! Because that's the behavior I want right, right there. What you're talking about on the opposite end is a different behavior. All right, come on. Anyway, that uh, I've got my Nick set on zero. That noise you're hearing is the pager being broadcast through this radio or something. I do have to say, Summer, that looks pretty professional. What's that? You know, with your little bell and your little walkie-talkie. Yeah. All right, and listen, there's a there's a brand new antenna for that sound box we can at least put on there. All right. All right, come on. We have to keep moving, or the bugs bite us. Mm-hmm. Right, look, so I, what I'm looking for, and I'm going to have a good chance. Oh, and I thought about you that stuff in the garage. Uh, I'm looking for a dog that's got momentum that I can harness. Because this is this is the this is the statement, Jill. It's easier to harness the momentum of a moving dog than it is create momentum in a stationary dog. So that's why we don't want to practice um, the, the recall and the staying together. They're two separate things. If we always combine them, and, and, and I've got a, uh, a video that says that they're not proficient at either one. All right, come on. I'm, so what I'm doing is just looking for momentum. And the dog is remaining uninhibited. All right, what you need to do is just meander at, down that way, and I'll kind of meander back this way. some reverse movement. But I mean, if you kind of do it that way in the beginning, watch out, some of those things right behind you. Callie! You can just add. I mean, I 
do it with the name because we have to in this context. We can't have Look at these beautiful flowers, Summer. I'll tell you what they call these weeds. Um, watch out, you're stepping in ants. Um, oh my god. Oh, it's funny. It could be a gator in there. Look out, look out. I wouldn't stand right by those ants. Those bolt up for the bulbs. You kind of just probably mingle back down that. Let's just switch places. And again, I'm not trying to do anything, you guys, to, to cause the dog to do anything other than act with its normal behavior. Treat level, ouch. The summer's just going to mingle over that way. to line the dog up. She's growing already. So that's my job. I'm just, I'm just adding that one little component. You've got the, this component, that component, that component. We can put them all together into one component. I, I see something swimming out there. I don't know if that was a big turtle or what it was. It's a bulldog. <laughs> it's a kind of cute. Like, I mean, and I'm don't I don't want you know hate mail, but a small little gator versus the bulldog. No, a small one. <laughs> you know, and he's kind of just batting it, it around. Or, no, 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 no. Oh, let me tell you what that bulldog. I don't would think you'd be happy that about it. That bulldog would probably fetch the gator and bring it to us. Anyway, you guys, that's where we're at. You are just. Edging around the curve of one behavior. That's how you're introducing the collar. You're not trying, if you think I'm gonna put the leash on and do anything with the collar, and I could do a little bit of the healing, but with this dog, that's not what we wanna do. We want a really nice recall. Anyway, girl, we're gonna go and see if we can get a slow-mo. We'll be right back. <laughs> 